Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix these weird looking facial expressions on your avatar if you have them. So on PC you have to go to your material setting and into the shader and uh, change the rendering from opaque to either cutout, transparent or transclipping, also depending on what, what gender you're using. First I'm going to show you on Poyomi, which is the most common on the English speaking market I would say. Uh, let's try cutout. And we can see it cuts out way too much, so that's not the right option. Transparent is way too transparent, so we don't want that either. And if you do transclipping, there we go, that's what we want, I'm pretty sure. So we can like try the slider and you can see how the expression shows up. Now I'm going to show you using Liltune, which is like probably the second most used shader. So on Liltune, I go from opaque to cutout which cuts everything out but too much, too transparent. And I can also choose normal one pass or two pass. And actually two pass makes it a bit more uh, stand out a slightly bit more. So I'll leave that to what you like, but uh, that works. Now, if you want to do it request, we need to make sure of a couple more things. The most important thing is that the part that has this effect of the expression on the face has to be a separate material, which I'm, I know that is, isn't for me, as you can see right now. So I need to put my model in Blender and I'm gonna just like do it real quick so we can see I'm not doing anything special. And we need to assign a new material to this part. Unfortunately, currently on Quest, as far as I know, there's no other option. So let's import our model. And let's see, uh, select a mesh that has the head on it and then select one of the vertices because we need to find uh, the face that we're going to be separating which is inside of the head most of the time. So I push L on my keyboard, I hide, pushing H and then I can see it. And let's see, do I see the textures? There we go, yeah. You can see like these two that I can select with L again are the parts that need to be uh, assigning a separate material. So I go to the materials tab, I push this little plus button to add a new material and I'm gonna call it face exp expression and I'm gonna assign. And that's all we needed to do really uh, in Blender. So we're gonna export. And these are my, I'm gonna override an old FBX that I used to test before I recorded this video, but I recommend you to save another one, separate from the original, just in case. Uh, I do FBX all, and I don't save any leaf bones. So now I export, I let it work for a little bit, and it should appear in Unity. Now I need to find it, which I have like a little trick here, because I'm stupid. Um, click the mesh and just redirects me into the folder. Now I drag the model into the scene. And what I do, I, I don't want to copy everything by hand. I just go to pumpkin and avatar tools. And I just copy everything. If you don't want to see this part and you know how to do it, just skip it to the last part. But I'm going to do it real quick. Copy selected. The only thing that I didn't do is the position, so I'm going to copy that as well. There we go. And also we need to set up the rig because that's completely not set up at all. So let's speed run this. No, that's just bomb. There we go. We also need some legs. Oh, that's the right one, the ankle. And we delete this nonsense, and then we enforce, enforce the typos. And that should be fine. And now the front part. Now I'm gonna go into my model. You can already see that it's messed up. So we're gonna fix it. I'm gonna change the amount of materials to eight because I copied the number of materials from my previous PC model, which has seven, but I now, now I have eight. 
uh, if you put the FBX right in and copy stuff by hand, you don't have to do this. It's going to have eight already. But let's see, we need to figure out which material slot is the one that we're going to be changing. And if you can see how I'm clicking these, you can see this one is probably, let me just delete it. Yeah, there we go. This one is the one that we're going to be replacing. So I'm just going to make control D and make a copy of uh, this one. And I'm going to change it to VRChat mobile particles additive. I'm going to click and drag onto the expression and you can see it. It's very weak, but you can see how it does something. If you want it to be a bit stronger, you can change to another uh, shader, which is in VR chat mobile particles and multiply. And it's going to be, you know, dark like this, but this is like the best we can do on quest. Unfortunately, because normal transparency is not really allowed on avatars. So we have to, you know, work our way around. But uh, this is how you fix it on both PC and Quest. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you. Give me a like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And let me know what videos you want me to make next. And I'll see you in the next video.